Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of, uh, of the Home Bible College and I want to do another video in my series on the life of the Apostle Paul and uh, this, this particular one is, uh, begins in um, Acts chapter um, 8 um, but it, we, we're talking here about the contemporary ministry of Philip a lot of people think that the gospel sorry, the, the gospel went out just by Paul well of course Luke is writing and Luke was with Paul so therefore he writes what Paul was doing however in the story of the gospel um, um, expedition um, we have a number of other people involved in contemporary ministry alongside Paul and alongside Peter so we have Peter and we have Philip we've already had Stephen um, and so we so the narrative will refer to Paul and Luke digresses here um, to record two interesting and important events in the ministry of Philip the Evangelist. Firstly, in Samaria, and secondly, on the road to Gaza. So we call this um, incident number 30 to 31. It's Philip in Samaria, and we're in Acts chapter 8, and we're beginning to read at verse 4 therefore they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word then philip went down to the city of samaria and preached christ unto them and the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which philip spake hearing and seeing the miracles that he did for unclean spirits crying with loud voices came out of many that were possessed with them and many taken with palsies and, and that were lame were healed and there was great joy in that city but there was a certain man called Simon which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria giving out that he himself was some great one to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest saying this man is the great power of God and to him they had regard because that for a long time he had bewitched them with sorceries. But when they believed, Philip preached the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ. They were baptized, both men and women. Then Simon himself also, sorry, then Simon himself believed also. And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done so philip the deacon then uh, went down to samaria now we need to understand that the, philip was one of the deacons he was one of the seven deacons appointed by the appointed by the church at jerusalem but uh, uh, but approved by the apostles and his ministry was not just um, a ministry of serving at tables he developed and he moved forward and he became uh, an evangelist. He's referred to as Philip the Evangelist. So um, <clears throat> he went to preach the gospel in Samaria and found a uh, great success as Christ himself had found at Sychar. And Philip preached, but he also performed many miracles as proof of his apostolic message. And the people were overcome with joy and wonder when they saw these apostolic signs. Simon the sorcerer, who previously used his powers to bewitch the people, became a believer and was baptised. Wow, it's amazing what God can do in the life of an ordinary man. Philip was an ordinary guy, just an ordinary guy, but he was empowered by the Spirit in, in these gifts and he was empowered by the Spirit in the preaching of the Word and the result was a tremendous ingathering of souls. Well, we look forward to catching up with you on our next episode. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.